Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today to break down Marvel Strike Force's newest blog post here. As you guys can see, featuring the new Mercs uh, from Money Team as well. Um, really, all the updates are coming up um, in regards to not just um, Logan, the Legendary Trials event is currently live right now, but as well, the newest Alpha Flight team that is going to be joining the game pretty shortly here as you guys can see in the screen. Um, so yeah, we're going to be breaking all that down today, guys, but as well, uh, make sure you guys are following along because um, as always, these events are... Um, um, best to prepare beforehand and we've seen how dynamic some of these events are and guys just a heads up as well with old man logan's legendary trials event live right now um you don't actually need a uh, cabal or the out of time team to actually get his unlock um there is actually a mechanic and trick right now you raise up the difficulty so you know what i'm gonna link my video below if you guys are having issues but um the good news is that you don't need both teams right now if you have some other gear tier 17 or 18 characters in your roster and really completing that first note is actually going to get you the the unlock so that's great news to see there so starting off guys here with the battle plan for may 25th to may 31st so this coming week of course uh we got the season uh pass update here for number 60 being penny parker so that made sense because um they've been rotating all these characters um as they're getting released and so forth they're getting cycled through so that's great to get that addition there cosmic crucible season 8 we've unpacked some of the new room changes but this is the official blog detailing that we also uh, got a chance to see the envoys uh, and their tournament which gave us an, a great kind of preview in terms of what to expect for this new cosmic crucible season mystic mercenary this is a battling and alliance war event uh utilizing mercs for money additional points being granted in addition to that actually uh, start saving your guys's iso campaign energy because we'll start needing that for this event as well and then finally running rampant is just spending energy in the uh, wasteland road trip uh, more details below shortly afterwards uh we have a new avengers quick rumble here and then finally some big big updates in terms of farmability uh we knew that this was coming because hive mind was the next team following all the other characters and so that means we would likely see spider society actually being the following team so or cabal and then spider society something to be on the watch for for sure but diamonds for nova quicksilver and green goblin classic uh, are actually now available in the elite store going forward so let's keep an eye on that for sure um, we also do have a chance here actually to see that um, there's going to be void night shards going to the new spotlight raid so we're going to get some additional details below i'm sure gwenham's going to the blitz store and blitz orb awesome awesome stuff and then finally uh red goblin is actually going to the cosmic crucible store so i'm loving their farm ability promise right we're getting more of these characters and it's great to see that hive mind is going to be officially uh farmable following these changes here that's great alpha flight so we did unpack this already earlier this week you guys but uh in case you missed it um the new alpha flight team is going to be a dual uh trade team excuse me not trade a dual game mode um synergy so they're going to actually thrive in both raids as well as having value in war and this team uh, consists of five characters here so if i scroll down here um it's going to be uh north star guardian uh, Sasquatch, Guardian Sasquatch, obviously being the two votes that we actually won in terms of the uh, the player voting. And then finally, Wolverine and Sunfire getting the rework. So it's awesome to see that these characters, especially Sunfire, um, he's not that old or meta, uh, meta crept, right? So it's great to see him actually getting some additional uh, revisions there. So definitely something to be mindful of, guys. Um, I'm just going to skip the cuts here just because I deep dive it every time the character gets released anyways. And I'm sure you guys have probably already seen this information getting circulated. But what I do want to go to is uh, what, what I personally really enjoy in seeing is the actual changes um, to the rework character. So you can see here Wolverine um, getting a much needed buff here, right? 40% increased HP, damage is going up, armor, focus, and resistance. And don't forget, um, they also get some additional buffs as part of uh, them being part of Alpha Flight. And I'm sure there's going to be some raid and war bonuses as well. And then next up, we do have Sunfire also receiving that same love uh, in addition to some kit changes as well. But I'm surprised actually Sunfire got uh, these upgrades because, you know, he's quite a bit newer than Wolverine. So um, the fact that he's still getting a whopping 20 plus percent in HP, almost 30% in damage, armor almost 40%, focus and resistance also going up. So um, tons and tons of upgrades here, which is going to make these characters relevant once more. And in addition to that, um, obviously being part of this new meta uh, with Alpha Flight and these new Spotlight Raids that are going to grant us more opportunities here for resources, but just exciting times, honestly. I love to see uh, when um, these characters get reworked and the value that we previously invested in. Now we're going to get that back. Uh, big, big character vote here, guys. So um, they rehash what we've already learned essentially in the past couple of votes. You know, we uh, obviously voted for Karen Page. And then we also voted that we preferred her vampire form, having Mentor as Morbius. And then next up here, it's short, shortly afterwards, the next poll here 
Uh, and remember, this team, guys, is going to be consisting of also Man Thing, um, as that's another character that we voted for. Now we get to vote for um, the actual next additional member on the team. So uh, it does look like here it's going to be the choice between Moon Knight or Morbius. And I do feel like uh, the fan favorites. I feel like this is going to be leaning heavily towards Morbius because um, if Morbius gets picked, guys, I'm pretty certain Blade's going to be one of the team members here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, you know, Morbius gets more love here because I would love to see a vampire team and make sure to include, obviously, the Vampire Slayer and Blade. That's going to be really, really BA uh, to see that. But this uh, vote does start on May 29th. So end of the month here, 5 p.m. Pacific time, and it's going to last a week. So um, the one thing to be mindful of for these events is that um, you need to access the voting uh, via MarvelStrikeForce.com. In addition to that, every day when you do vote, uh, you are going to be getting both power cores, and I believe it was campaign energy for every single day. So just some additional uh, love there. Oh, yeah, it is right there. It just uh, confirms it down there. So something to be mindful of. Uh, again, Cosmic Crucible Season 8, guys. This is a big one. Um, a lot of different rooms, to be honest. And in addition to that, Cabal is really the one that's going to be shining truly because Masters of Evil and Cabal are going to have um, their synergy actually working together with the same trait. So something to be mindful of going forward. Uh, these are all the rules here, but we broke that down again. I'm going to link that below if you guys want to take a quick refresh, but something to be mindful of because this is starting actually pretty soon here. I believe it's actually uh, in a few days. Yeah, May 24th. So, um, you know, uh, it's actually going to be very, very soon here in terms of just getting the matchmaking. Uh, so you can actually start already setting up the defenses if uh, that's already effectively live. If I'm not mistaken, something to be mindful of. And you guys probably already saw this uh, starting last week, but the Mercs Golden Bounty is effectively live. So um, this is going to be upcoming the second weekend for this uh, Blitz, essentially to give and infuse more gold, as well as Old Man Logan Awakened uh, ability and materials. And make sure you guys take advantage of that. Now that we do likely have Old Man Logan unlocked, he's going to give us some more points here to obviously capitalize on. And in addition to that, remember, it's a really easy event. You only have to Blitz five times with the characters unlocked. Uh, mind you, you do need um, Dokken as well as Panda Pool at three stars. I believe Panda Pool's already three stars, so that's fine. But um, you need them at three stars to get additional points. So this week's going to be a lot better because we also have access to Old Man Logan. So that's going to be a win-win-win uh, right there. But once again, um, I believe it's uh, always on the weekends now for the next few weeks. And um, it's both Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully you guys are catching this video here before the reset at 2 p.m. Pacific, but there is going to be some juicy materials here in terms of mission supplies, additional campaign energy, uh, the bamboo or fragments, which give you more shards here at Panda Pool, and in addition to that, um, five extra shards here at Panda Pool, actually. So that's great to have that extra bonus there. Uh, and then we also do have the Mystic Mercenary event that's actually going to feature up shards here for Death Pool and Doc. And so stay tuned on that, guys. I'm going to be breaking this down tomorrow in more detail. Uh, I like to focus more on that. Uh, so that way we can actually um, take our time in the analysis and so forth. But it does look like it's going to be Alliance War again, um, in addition to that cam the Ice Away campaign energy. So something to be mindful of there. Uh, running Rampant is likely the web milestone. It does look like this one is tied back again. That spending of energy in the Wasteland Road Trip event. So this is going to be coming to us um it sounds like it's probably going to be uh, a specific event tied to this so another kind of event campaign energy something to be also on the watch for and then other than that new avengers quick rumble and that wraps things up guys so yeah jam packed um i'm gonna link everything below as i mentioned before guys and again best of luck with your old man logan legendary unlock super super easy if you guys are able to do the higher difficulty uh utilizing some of your best uh teams and characters so that way if you can complete the one node you can actually get his unlock without out of time or a cabal. So hopefully this helps you guys out. You know, happy weekend. And I'll keep you guys up to date with all the events. Thank you for your time as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one.